Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prak Zambulkar. In this video, we will see aggregate functions in SOQL. In my Udemy course, Learn Salesforce Admin Plus Developer with LWC Live Project. In this section, we have seen what is SOQL, how to write SOQL query, and also we have seen different keywords in SOQL. In this video, we will focus on aggregate function. So, what is aggregate function? So see, from the name only, we will come to know aggregate functions. So aggregate functions are those functions which aggregate results, that means collect results from the group of records. So see, aggregate functions in SQL allow to roll up and to summarize the data in a query. So aggregate functions allow us to summarize data in a query. So what kind of summarization we can do? So see, we can find out average. We can find out minimum value. We can find out maximum value. We can find out sum. Also, we can find out total number of records. That is count. So see, these are the aggregate functions in SQL. So see, average function. So from the name only, you will come to know. It gives average value of a numeric field, right? Mean function, it gives minimum value. Max function, give maximum value. Sum function, gives sum. These operations we can perform on the numeric fields, right? We can perform on the numeric fields. Numeric fields means columns which has only numbers, right? Then we have count and it gives number of rows, number of records which matches to some particular criteria. Okay, so these are the different aggregate functions in SQL. So what we will do in this video, we will see different examples and from that example, it will be very clear. Now see, along with these aggregate functions, we have two more clauses. So see, we have group by clause and also we have having clause. Now what is the use of group by and having? Group by clause helps aggregate functions to work on a group of similar records instead of individual records. So see, suppose if we want to apply aggregate functions on some groups. So that can be done by using group by clause. So see, Instead of applying these aggregate functions on all records, what we can do, we can group records and on those groups, we can apply these aggregate functions. So we will see examples and from that example, it will be very clear. Next, we have having clause. So keep in mind, having clause can be used along with group by clause. And it is similar to where clause. So see, already we have seen what is the use of where clause. You can go through these videos. From that, you will come to know what is the use of where clause. Right. So see, along with having clause, we can use aggregate functions. But along with where clause, we cannot use aggregate function. That is a major difference. So see, having clause that we can use along with group by clause. Right. And in having clause, we can use aggregate functions. But in where clause, we cannot use aggregate function. That is the difference between where clause and having clause. Okay, now we will see some examples and from the examples, it will be very clear. Now we will see our first aggregate function that is average, right? Now see, I am copying this query by control C. Here I have logged in in Salesforce developer all. Okay, now see, we will click on this gear icon. Then we will click on developer console. Okay, so developer console is open what we will do we will open one object we will see what are the different fields and also we will see some records and then we will apply some queries so see we will go to file open resource here we will search one object suppose we are searching opportunity so see we got this we will double click on this okay so see this is opportunity object and these are the different fields right suppose i want name then I want amount. So see, I have pressed control button and by that I am selecting multiple fields. Then we have to click on query. So see, we will click on query. So see, here we got one query, right? Now we will click on execute. Okay. So see, here we got all the records. So see, in opportunity object or opportunity table, we have total 31 records or 31 rows, right? And we have selected these three fields, right? Name, amount and lead source. Now see, what we will do, we will run SQL queries which uses aggregate function. So see, here I have written one SQL query. So what we are doing, see, from the opportunity object, I am printing 
average of amount. So here you can see these are the different amount values, right? Now what we want, we want average of this. Average means what? Sum divided by total number of records, right? So see, I have written a SQL query. Here I am applying average aggregate function. Now we will click on execute button. So here you can see we got average, right? So this is the average. Now see, this is the average of all records, right? This is the average of all records. Now see, suppose I want different average for purchase list. So see, suppose there are three, four records of lead source purchase list. So I want separate average for the purchase list. Then suppose I want different average for the trade show. Suppose I want average for the partner. Suppose if I want average for the employee referral, right? So suppose if I want average for the different lead source, so that also we can do, right? So for that purpose, we can use group by clause. So see, group by and name of the column, name of the field. What is the name of the field? Lead source. So see, here I am typing lead source, right? Okay. Now, again, we will click on execute. So here you can see. See, previously we got total average, right? Previously we got average of all the amounts. Now, here we got average of different lead source. But see, from this we cannot find out whose average is this, right? So see, what we will do along with this average, we will print lead source like this. So see, what we want lead source and average. See, again, we will click on execute button. So now you can see for web, this is the average. For phone inquiry, this is the average. For employee referral, this is the average. For external referral, this is the average, right? And records where lead source is empty, this is the average, right? So here what we have done, we have grouped records based on the lead source and accordingly we have the average. In previous case, we got the average for all the records. Here we have average for the different lead source. So this is the use of group by. Now see, here we have calculated average, right? In the same way, we can apply other aggregate functions like sum, max, min. So see, instead of average, suppose we want sum. Click on execute button. So see, here we got sum, right? In previous case, we got average, right? In the same way, we can find out max. So it will give maximum value, right? So see, for web, this is the maximum value. For phone inquiry, this is the maximum value. In the same way, we can find out minimum value by using mean aggregate function like this. Now see, along with group by clause, we can also use having clause, right? Already here we have seen, right? We can use having clause along with group by clause, right? Now see how to use. Now see, here we got minimum amount for the different lead sources, right? Now see, suppose I want only those records where minimum value is greater than 80,000. So see, suppose we want only those records where minimum value is greater than or equal to 80,000. So see, what we can do? We can use having clause like this. And see, already we have seen having clause can be used along with aggregate functions only, right? So compulsorily, whenever we are using having clause, we have to use aggregate function. So see, where minimum of amount, suppose greater than equal to 80,000, something like this. So see, what we are mentioning here, we want only those records where minimum amount is greater than or equal to 80,000, right? So see, previously there were 10 records, right? Now see, we will click on execute button. So see, now we got only 5 rows. And here in all records, minimum amount is greater than or equal to 80,000, right? Previously there were 10 rows, right? And here we have 5 rows where minimum amount is greater than or equal to 80,000. So in this way, we can use having clause along with group by clause. So keep in mind, we can use having clause along with only group by clause. And one more restriction, along with having clause, compulsorily we have to use aggregate functions. And that is the difference between having clause and where clause, right? Where clause is particular to every record, right? Each and every record, while having clause works on group of records. So it can be used along with aggregate functions. Now see how to use count aggregate function. So see, instead of mean, Suppose if we want to use count, so what count aggregate function will give? It will give number of records. So see, suppose if I click on execute button. So 
So here you can see for lead source web there is one record for for inquiry there is one record for employee referral there are two records for external referral there are eight records for trade show there is one record right and suppose if i remove this condition without any lead source seven records purchase list one record employee referral two records right so in this way we can use count aggregate function right suppose if we want number of records in this opportunity table so what we can do see here we will remove this field name and see we will remove this group by like this so see select count from opportunity so this query will give number of records in our opportunity object so see again we will click on execute so see there are total 31 rows or records in our opportunity object now see suppose if we want to count number of rows where lead source is not empty so what we can do see here we can mention lead source so see total number of rows are 31 right but we want where lead source is not empty so see there are total 24 rows where lead source is not empty now see in many records lead source is getting repeated right this 24 number indicates there are 24 rows or records where lead source is not empty right there is some value for the lead source so see lead source is getting repeated right so see partner here it is two times right external referral is getting repeated multiple times word of mouth is getting repeated multiple times suppose i have to find out how many different types of lead sources are there so that we can do by using count underscore distinct aggregate function so here you can see count underscore distinct it returns the number of distinct non-null field values matching the query criteria now see suppose from the lead object we have to find out what are the different number of companies so that we can do by using this suppose from the opportunity we have to find out different types of lead sources so that we can do by using this SQL query we'll see one example now see suppose we have to find out different types of lead sources in opportunity object here we can use aggregate function distinct like this right select count underscore distinct in bracket lead source that is the field name from opportunity that is object name right now see we'll click on execute so see there are nine types of lead sources so see again i am repeating so there are nine types of lead sources in opportunity object and those are not null only not null values are considered so there are total nine types of lead sources in opportunity object so in this video we have seen different aggregate functions so we have seen average mean max sum count count underscore distinct aggregate function and also we have seen group by clause and having clause in this video we have also seen difference between having clause and where clause i will provide this blog post in my udemy course in resources you can find it okay so we will meet in next video thank you